meet our incredible 17 contestants from our 17 labs. And they'll be giving a three minute talk tomorrow for a non-specialist audience competing in four categories for best presentation. And then it will be a People's Choice Award. I'm Olivia, I'm a biophysicist at Los Alamos National Labs. Mm -hmm. And I've designed a vaccine for the plague which is very New Mexico relevant to the ranchers like my family, and it could be an upcoming world bio threat. I wanted to be a scientist since I was a very little girl, and here I am on the national stage, and it just feels, it feels big. I think the National Research Slam is, is special because it's, it's really the top pitches that have been gathered from all the different labs around the country. Normally when you're in your singular national lab, you're really focused on the type of research that your lab does, where the SLAM kind of exposes everyone to all the different types of research that's going on. Where the threshold is so high, where the bar is so high that you suddenly like your level boosts up. And you have so many representations from different backgrounds, everything you can think of. I cannot stress this enough, it's nice to see a lot of excited young people. Not a lab to a lot of uh, not so many young people. So yeah. <laughs> and we are pretty much all early Korea scientists, so we have a lot of things to talk about career-wise. It's inspired me to frame my science communications in ways I've never thought of before. It's inspiring to be near the hill, talking to different policymakers. So I'm sort of curious, so what's the direction for fundamental research? Sometimes in research, you're gonna get a surprise. And I think some of our greatest scientific discoveries are yet to be found even that way. We are trying to see if we could use electrochemical signals to help speed up the development of new batteries. Thank you for representing your national labs so well. I will continue to fund those. Really, I, I do think our national labs are our national treasures. We want to make sure that we are a science superpower of the world. And to do that, we really should be focusing on funding the research that pushes us there. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to showcase our research to the public and to our government to demonstrate just exactly how important the research is at the National Laboratories. How can I speak to my mom or my dad so that they know what I'm doing in the lab is relevant and they have hope for the future? We have a obligation to share our science with the world, which is really, I think, the most important and impactful thing you can do as a scientist. The world is becoming electrified. Technologies like those presented here today would have never been possible without the fundamental research that came first. Our daily lives completely depend on electricity, yet we rarely think about how it gets to us. What if we target its core, the part of the bacteria that stays the same no matter how much it evolves? ultimately uh, winning in my category. I think it wouldn't be possible uh, without the input of um, the 16 other participants. It means so much. I'm really honored to be able to share my research with so many people. I think it's a celebration. Wing for me is a celebration, not just for you know, me. I, I think it's a celebration for our 17 national labs. And last but not least, the People's Choice Award is if I could go back in time and tell young Olivia what has happened today, man, <laughs> it would be a big deal.